Hey guys, welcome back to Vito's Garage. Thanks so much for tuning in and for watching my videos. Appreciate all your support. And I'm finally back to Washington. I'm on quarantine for two weeks, so I'm locked in. I can't go anywhere. And the only thing I can do is just enjoy these amazing Washington views and just look at that parking lot right there where my Mercedes W126 is sitting. And I can't even go there because I'm locked in. But I have five more days to go, so I'm pretty excited to get out. So anyways, in this video, I just want to show you something from last year. Me and my friend, we were fixing a W116 Mercedes. Um, so I hope you enjoyed that video. Stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. There's going to be a lot of videos coming up as soon as this quarantine thing is over. So I'm pretty excited, guys. I hope you are too. And let's go to the video. This is what happens during quarantine, guys. And now some transformation and now it's a lot better guys doesn't it I'm sure I missed some spots well you tell me in the comments Oh, nice. So I had to cut, this cut the socket. It's a oh, nice like, idea, yeah. Oh, yeah. See this thing? Uh, I mean, it had some wear, but these are like so good. I mean, they just they they last a long time. These uh, guide rails. So cool. They're brand new. Oh, M617 about to get refreshed and come alive again. Hey guys, welcome back to Vios Garage. Thanks for tuning in. Today we have this amazing W116 with us. Uh, you can see it's really like, you know, lifted up in the front. That's because <laughs> we're actually working on it. Uh, so if you guys remember from previous videos, I had this car on my channel. So I'll leave some links down below so you guys can go check it out. But long story short, uh, we're actually the owner of this car. He's a friend of mine. Uh, he pulled the head off already. Um, and uh, as you guys can notice, I mean, it's all cleaned up and uh, ready to go, you know, um, new engine mounts, a bunch of other things. Um, long story short, why uh, this head, head is off is because uh, there was um, a really bad, he had a really bad day, honestly saying. Um, he was driving this car and all of a sudden, you know, like he, it had like a small cooling leak. Uh, but then it started getting worse and worse and then you know he kept adding water to it you know he couldn't fix it at the time so long story short he he was driving it and one day like you know it started overheating and then you know he couldn't open the hood you know literally like, he pulled on the hood um release handle and it actually like broke like it, it didn't open the hood uh and then he did not have a chance to shut off the engine you know his vacuum shut off wasn't working so uh, he was panicking he was trying to like drive it you know like and running out of fuel you know he was driving it on the highway he was really panicking he had a really bad day and i perfectly understand him you know i feel really bad for that but um long story short you know we're fixing this car right now uh we just pulled the head off just to be sure you know just to change the head gasket we don't know we, you know ever since this car was overheated we never started it again and he actually never started again we just decided to go this route i told him let's just change you know the head gasket and everything at once you know and then put everything back together and we're gonna be good change all the gaskets um and by the way this is om617 engine so this is a uh, um early model uh early om617 engine with actually the the, like the turbo um so it's a really uh, beautiful car it actually came from california originally so uh yeah it looks really beautiful um i'll leave some links down below so you guys can go check out the uh, uh, videos from the car meet this car was uh, in one of my car meets as well and other things so um yeah and then basically uh, long story short go going back to this uh thing uh when he had a overheating situation so eventually what he did is like he parked it really quick it was still running hot and then he cut the fuel line and eventually like it shut off and then he was trying to go underneath and reach the vacuum shutoff valve like the manual shutoff valve uh on the engine but he couldn't you know it was really difficult and he was panicking you guys can notice how high this 
car sits in the front right now with the head off comparing to the back of it uh, the owner is actually pretty awesome he loves this car so much he's uh, you know he's also a big old school Mercedes enthusiast save old school Mercedes don't forget about that guys but he's uh, he's changing everything he uh, um, he loves this car and he's had it for probably like three months right now and you know it was his daily driver you know and as he fixes it it's gonna be again his daily driver um, so and then long story short when I said that he broke uh, the uh, hood release handle actually like later on uh, he was trying to actually open the engine like uh, the, the hood from underneath but there's like really like, it's tight spot you have to like break the uh, grill uh, on this thing so that was a really big task to do but he got really lucky actually the the other day he came back he pulled on the hood release handle and actually opened the the hood so long story short the the hood cable didn't break and the handle didn't break it was just uh, i don't know what happened maybe he didn't pull it enough or something so that's a kind of like a crazy story about this uh car but i'm just really glad you know everything is coming back together and we're actually, he's cleaning the head right now, he's uh, using really fine grit sandpaper to uh, smooth the surface and everything. Um, then we're gonna jump, uh, he's actually changing the uh, timing chain rails, uh, this main one right there. Let's see, early Christmas present, what do we have? Boom, wow, you, you know, your, your car looks like mine right now, I keep everything in the trunk. I have the same oil pan. Oh, that's the head gasket. Okay. But did you notice anything? Anything with it at no, all? No, no. Feels fine. No cracks, huh? But this probably just broke from you taking it off, right? Yeah, just yeah. a little right there. Yeah, no cracks. Uh, that's nice. damn. That, these engines are amazing. That's crazy. So how long do you think you were running with it uh, being like, you know, in that hot? position of like hot or overheating, yeah. you know? What do you think? Not too long. Maybe Not like too long? No. If only a actually a few minutes a few minutes actually and oh the, and then the fan because you were driving on the highway it was the temperature went down highway, right it feels fine though, you know we, okay we only got hot once i stopped you know uh-huh once you, know, you stopped like at idle it was getting hot okay yeah, but once yeah. you drive it was okay okay yeah. gotcha yeah. i understand yeah. now so actually it was only at the hot temperature uh around what is it on 200 wait was it 120 uh, Celsius, Celsius, right? Yeah. 120 Celsius. Was it only there actually, for like know, two or five minutes? Could go there, the electric fan. Electric fan kicks in at uh, 120 yeah. degrees uh, Celsius and then cools it down a little bit. Okay. Yeah. So you, he didn't have it like overheated, overheated like for too long, but it's awesome. So many you parts, know, huh? I remember that. Not even cool. Was... Wow. Here's the look at the valves, guys. That's nasty. It's a little dirty, but not bad. This is the pre-chamber right here. It's where the fuel sprays from. All right, I'll just hold it then for you. Okay. All right, now, carefully. Do you have the chain? I got the chain. Hold on, hold on. Just the gear. In. Yeah, the gear, the gear. Yeah. Smashing the gear. Yeah. <laughs> Double check everything. Yay! 
Nice. Save old school Benzes. <laughs> yeah, you can see. Yeah, yeah. If you the injectors, when the injectors are yeah. out, you can see them really easy. Nice. Now it really looks like OM617, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright guys, so as you can see, uh, we have the head back on and we're gonna be, uh, you know, we're putting brand new head bolts. We're gonna be torquing that and this car is coming back together soon, so hopefully we can uh, hear this engine running really soon. It's already dark by the way, but we're still working. We love these cars and we save these cars forever and always. Right, Michal? And what's my favorite phrase right now? You probably know. Das? Das Beste oder nichts?